Hey, let's go camping. <laughs> So Andrew and I have found our campsite. We just uh, don't know how we're going to be setting up the tarp. Like the sun is coming out right here. And so I actually want the, the tarp to be facing the, the sun. So that way we're not getting sun in our faces. And we'll be headed this way. So let's get set up. it up from over there and then I think we can tie it up over this thing. Alright, show me how you want to do this tie. You just go under this here okay. like you normally would, so go under this. Okay. There you go. And then from here you do another one but then you kind of do a loop like this. Okay. So you want to grab this and have this as like a loop. Uh -huh. And you oh, yeah, pull this. Thing. All right, yeah. yeah. So from right here, just pull. And then you want to, yep, knot it up like that. Yep, you just keep pulling. There you go. And that's, that. that's good. Yep. And so that essentially, like, this will be tight, right? Because yeah. this is our ridge line. And this, you can just pull, uh -huh. and then it'll just undo afterwards. Yep. That's it. As soon as you saw that, it was like, okay, I know exactly. I kind of understand where you're going with this. So. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do actually is I'm going to take these of wood and I'm going to loop it through okay. and, and attack it. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really know how to tie this without cutting this and I don't want to cut it. So I'm just going to do whatever I can to kind of provide enough friction for the rope to kind of keep everything in place. And so I'm just going to do random stuff. Uh, but. I think that'll work. Yeah. Would you would you normally maybe if you didn't want to use all the rope, would you tie that one first, then bring the last round of the rope over to the other side? True. Yes. <laughs> but I think it's pretty much the same because you still have like all this rope here, you know? Like I mean, I tied it here and so then yeah, it's kind of the same thing. But yeah, we'll just do that and now we'll uh grab branches we'll grab pieces of branches and we'll just go like this and we'll loop the branch through like this and it'll just keep it in a place and so for example like this we get out of the sun here so this right here this loop i'm gonna just go like this fold it over and ah, then stick this in i see i and see now Bam, we got it. And if we wanted, we can just adjust it like that. Yeah. And it could just be weak pieces of wood. It doesn't really need to be strong or anything. These just break easily. Like my heart. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Nice and simple. That's what bushcraft is all about. Nice. Now we'll just push it, and there you go. But, um, now we can uh, pull this, you know, and uh, let's see here. We can figure out how to tie this off somehow. We could possibly take pieces of wood and like stake it to the ground and then use this, you know? Like this, I guess. We could do that, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. It's gonna pull, I think. We'll need more rope, and, and we'll tie rope down to here, and we'll stake it down. 
we can do that. But I kind of don't want to cut the rope. That's the thing. But that's what it's for. No, I have an idea. Here. Here, I have an idea. Come over this way. Oh. I'm gonna go around this tree here. Oh. Or you don't need to do that. You can just have it up here. Oh, I was thinking, because I was going to pull this, go back over here, and then come back on the other side. Well, we can pull on the piece of wood here. Okay. Here, so, I know, okay, I think that'll work. So, here's the idea, that, like this. And now, we can cinch this off, and then we can go back around the tree, right? Perfect. There you go. And now... It's a little crude, but it works. Just yeah. so we don't want to have to wreck, so, the, wreck the rope. Yeah. <laughs> so now so now we've got this. You can probably loop this through here. How do you rate my survival so far? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> we are uh, improvising. And so... I mean, it'd be as simple as just cutting threads of rope and then tying them to the ground, but... Okay. This now, is, we don't need to cut the rope. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't want to cut the rope because I really like it. <laughs> and sure, I could probably get more later, but still. All right, so now we have it taut. And so I can probably... Oh, here we go. This is good. Does that look good? Yeah. See everything? Yep. So, like this, we got all of this, and we're just gonna tie it to this tree now. And so this is a single, singular rope from over there to that, and then it's around this tree, and then loops all the way around and back. It looks kind of ridiculous, but it works. <laughs> and this is just fun. It doesn't need to be like true bushcrafty. This is more of just improv me improvising or us improvising. And it works. Okay, so let's go like that. Like this. Alright. See you're not cold anymore, right Andrew? Nope. Alright, we're good. Just don't trip over the, the rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, get some cleared up right here. We don't want all this wood here. I'm gonna lose the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Use that to sit on? You can. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, actually, yes. Here. Um. I'll show you what we do, what we're gonna do. Oh, there's eggs in your backpack. Yeah, careful with that. <laughs> there we go. You think sitting like this will be good? Yeah, I think this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful. Okay. Yeah, this would be good. Yeah, once, once oh, we, yeah, yeah. When you have them both there, it supports kind of your, your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, now let's just clear up all this stuff in front. So we'll be able to get our fire going. Keep finding pieces of wood. So we'll get our fire going right in the center, right here. There we go. <laughs> Hold on to this. Yes. So this right here, 
from Bushcraft Spain. This is a ground mat. So it's an oil skin on the outside here. So this is an oiled sort of uh, material. And then this right here is uh, partial like cotton and then cashmere, I believe that's fine. And so we are going to set it up right here okay. like this. Just like that. And so yeah, there you go. Cool. And we'll just, oh, we'll just sit here. There you go, but uh, you can put that down too. So we'll just use this more of as like padding. Mm -hmm. But it is really warm. Ah, oh, perfect. There you go. <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's and the, comfy. And the fire could be right here, and we'll get going. All right, let's go. This is the Winterwell Titanium Camp Stove. This is, this is incredibly lightweight, and I've just had this in my backpack. Like, it's titanium, so it's super light. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's lightweight. <laughs> All right. There you go. But basically, this, this wood stove actually has a cover on the top and a yeah. pipe that you put in. Have you seen it? Yeah, no, you showed okay. me. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's actually a wood stove, like it's super cool. But we're going to be putting a grill over the top. We'll get a fire started in this here, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to have the fire over. And then once we have the coals, or maybe in the fire still, we can cook the bacon. And I have a small skillet that we can cook some eggs on too. Okay. Okay, so we'll keep it like that. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Want some water? Here's the uh... Isn't that cool? What do you think of the taste? So it actually has a somewhat of a taste because um, I was thinking about that I couldn't tell what the taste were so it's wine so <laughs> it's just not working it's because of the the because <laughs> I'm using it every time I use something <laughs> it just fails miserably <laughs> there you go we're good so so this is called a wine skin uh, but it's also called a boda bag, and uh, it's actually made of, um, I believe it's lamb leather. Mm -hmm. And uh, so on the inside of it, there is juniper pitch. So it's this sort of like this black tar kind of, Okay. but it waterproofs it. Uh -huh. And so in order to get that weird tar flavor out, what I had to do was I had to pour wine into this and let it soak in and kind of cure for like maybe like a week or so and then okay. i pour the wine out and then um and now uh you store water in it and the water has that sort of like wine flavor kind okay. of you know and, and it's good and i like it i i really really enjoy using this this has been really cool and like um i've been keeping it in my shed and because it's been cold lately it chills the water and so the water is really chilled nice. and it's really nice and this is so cool but the cool thing about it you can open it up completely like this and now we can pour water into it or just pour water into a container to boil but yeah it's really cool okay so got this it's a kukri yeah so we're gonna chop some wood up here Let me do a little, let me do one. Here, you can, yeah, so you can start there. And, and just hit it on the wood here. Yeah, you finished up like this. Here, let me see. It's even moving. 
I think it is, but careful. I suck at it. That's no. what you're saying. You're saying I'm weak, aren't you? I am, though. No, it's it's because you hit a knot. Ah. <sighs> of course I of course I'd hit a knot. This is the better way to do it. Hold okay. it like this. Hold it sideways. Okay. And now let's put some there or here. Oh, you know what? I, no, hold it like this. Okay. And now take this and okay. baton it. There we go. Perfect. Now we're talking. Yeah, there you go. So that's what you should be doing. Okay. So this here same thing um, so there you go so this is heavier so there you go or or would it be easier on your right yeah, yeah it would go. be because I'm a little there you go perfect there you go Oh, that, that is excellent. That looks like a lot of fun. So let's go grab some dry wood from the trees and stuff. We'll use that as kindling. bushcraft wax like bags here okay. and then putting wax bags yeah so this yeah. is nice fluffy material that'll catch fire mm -hmm. I'll just use half of it and stick that in there and hopefully we'll be able to get a fire started got another bag here I got this as a cheater sort of thing. <laughs> Stormproof matches. <laughs> we'll use that later if we can't get fire started, but I think we got it. So, let's see here. Yeah. Perfect. Not bad. So all these tiny twigs here should be able to catch fire easily. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's see? <laughs> see? That's what I was talking about. We need more twigs. Um, right. Let's see. <clears throat> so, like I've explained in multiple other videos, being prepared in making a fire is really important or else something like this happens. And so, the reason why this happened is because we didn't have enough kindling prepared to keep the fire going. Seeing fire is not always a guarantee that you will have fire. Yeah, so let's uh, grab more twigs like this. I'm going to shave um, some feather sticks. And so, feather sticks here. And the reason why our fire failed is because we're just in a hurry and we're just having fun. It's not a serious survival situation or anything. So, this is still not prepared enough, but um, we can still try. So yeah, you can give it a shot if you want. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I'm doing it wrong. Turn it this way. Ah, I thought I said that. Perfect. There you go. So let's make sure it catches, you know, 
the stuff that we needed to catch. I think we're getting something. Okay, let's, let's hold off a second, maybe. Yeah. See if we can do this without the matches. So what? What's a storm match? They're just they they're uh, bigger ones. They they will they last a lot longer, and they're waterproof. And these oh, can okay. burn underwater. Really? Yeah. Really cool. So they they'll burn even though it's a, it's wet. Hmm, not bad. Okay. So let's. Uh, have you tried burning them underwater before? I have not, but I've seen them. Out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we Make should. A video of that. That would be a cool video. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Here's the uh, here's the flint. Ferro rod. Ferro rod. Ferro rod. Or uh, ferrocerium rod. Ferrocerium. They probably have a modern Minecraft like that. I think they might. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Ooh, man, that warmth just like yeah, brightens everything up. Here, sit down and uh, warm my feet up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start getting um, stuff ready here. So, yeah, um, Jake. Uh, From State Farm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so Jake from TikTok. Um, yeah, I, on like the 19th or 20th or something like that is when I can go meet up with him. And uh, it's going to be really cool because he has trail cams where he's found foxes okay. and other animals and even coyotes. And he has like guns also and a bow, I think. And um, we might be able to go hunting and actually shoot animals um i don't know like what i can shoot though like i i know that i'll probably need like a license right you know right to to shoot like any animals game. yeah I, i'm guessing rodents probably not uh small game right now yes we can so like squirrels but like deer you'd need a squirrels or deer we would need yeah like a license. A, a license but i don't know if we'll encounter deer i really don't know i'm completely just like just don't know at all just ignorant on this whole thing but i know that you haven't really done hunting though have you i haven't but he ma he makes it seem so easy <laughs> he's like oh we'll just go up there we'll just bring our guns <laughs> you know but well but uh, if the, you do want to go hunting sometime, mm -hmm. you are interested, actually interested, I can maybe talk to my cousin. Yeah. He, but that's, he's the one that was going to give me all those hides, but he actually oh. does. He took my sister out hunting once. So if you're interested, oh, yes, I'll let me know and I can talk to him. Yeah. So like, um, it would probably be up north though. Yeah. So, so like he has said that, uh, I can, so like what I want, right? What I want is I want to at least be able to shoot my gun because I bought it two years ago and I have not been able to shoot it uh, because I haven't been able to bring it anywhere and I don't want to go to a range. I want to go outside somewhere, you know? I and, bought a gun and I've never fired it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's almost 10 now Yeah. in the morning. I usually don't get up till 11. <laughs> I got up at six in the morning. <laughs> okay. I've been trying to wake up earlier, um, and it's been so much nicer waking up earlier because, like, I can get stuff done. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'm just mentally just not prepared to do anything, and so like I just waste a ton of time. And I hate that. You gotta get your morning coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore. I used to. Drinking coffee gets me like the jitters. Mm, no. Yeah. Okay, so um, I gotta find the bacon. Where's the bacon? Don't tell me I didn't bring the bacon. Okay, we've got the bacon. We've got the bacon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, so much smoke.
from the bacon, I believe, like, I think, you think it would be best to just cook the bacon in the skillet uh, a little bit so we can have some fat. Yeah. And then uh, we can cook the eggs in it After. afterwards. Okay, I think the knife should be okay. What kind of bacon is that? Um, Nat natural shreds. Right? Yeah. Thick cut, uncured bacon. Bacon in the woods. So we'll get a little bit of fat in this skillet and then we can then take the bacon off and put it on the grill here and then we'll cook the eggs in here. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, did I forget to bring the other pair of chopsticks? Oh, I did, Andrew. Oh no. We don't have the other chopsticks. We can make chopsticks for you. And now you can use the knife to kind of okay. carve it. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did we catch that? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Should I just should I just cook the bacon on it or <laughs> should I or like oh the bacon's getting burnt here do you, have you cleaned the cup is the cup yeah, clean? cup's good okay so we'll put the bacon in the cup here bacon on there you go <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh no. But it's all black because it's burning like this. I don't know. I'm not sure if the eggs will be looking good, Andrew. The eggs are going to look horrible. Yeah, this looks awful. So, I'm going to throw some eggs in here after this heats up a little bit more, Andrew. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind eating some charred black eggs. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, yeah. So like I try to clean it out as best as possible. And this bacon here is pretty much cleaning it up also. And it's oiling it up also. So hopefully this time the, the pan doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Got eggs. Oh, look at that. Oh, broke one. So the eggs appear to not really be sticking to the Bacon pan. Ready? Some of that is. See, the wind is blowing sort of this way, and so now it's kind of blowing this way. When we had it over here, it was blowing into my face the entire time. Oh, this looks good. There, what do you think about that? Oh, there you go. That works. 
Oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Perfect. Do you want the eggs like this or should we try to scramble them? They might turn black. Um, because of whatever we did, or I did earlier. Oh, it looks actually decent. Yeah, let's scramble. I forgot to bring like seasoning and stuff like that. <laughs> but the bacon should be salty enough. Here's some more bacon for you. Nice. And let me get you some eggs. Yo. Bacon. Brooms in. The bacon complements the plain egg. Mm -hmm. Definitely has that char to it. It might actually take a while for it to boil, but we'll see. One more bacon. Yeah. bitter taste to it. Could also be the char in my mouth. Or in the in the cup. Oh yeah, it is. It's because there was too much tea. Mm. And I put too much of it in there. That's why it's as dark as it is. <laughs> but this is jasmine tea, but it's uh -huh. been infused with lychee mm. flavor. So that's where you're getting that smell from. Yeah, but the bitterness is uh, because it's so strong. Normally, you wouldn't drink it like this. There, nope, it's in the it's in the cap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here. Uh, that's it for today's video. I've got like five percent left on my battery here. Um, so, so if you like the video, please consider subscribing. It's Smash that, that like button and subscribe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you next time.